Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to approach your enemy in Brawlhalla with every weapon. So let's not waste time. Um, I'm just gonna go through this like very fast, as fast as I can, so you guys don't wait. Right, so first thing that I want to go through is how to approach on swords. So many people approach like this, but like if you try and spot dodge, I'm not going to be explaining this with every weapon this detailed, but like... If you try and spot dodge, it's very punishable. So I recommend doing this um, for air, and this also hits grounded. So if you want to approach your enemy with sword, you can do it like this. Like I usually do this. Works for me. I don't know if it's gonna work for you. And also one more thing. Um, end light. Uh, if you miss end light, you can immediately do D light, and that is pretty good, especially for off stage edge guarding like this. So yeah, make sure. To have that in mind on well, spear on the other hand it's pretty easy to like approach just dash jump in there it's nerfed a bit and sometimes it won't hit if you like do it like this but like if you time it opponent your opponent is not gonna be like standing still so it's most likely gonna hit so this should not be a threat right even if you miss like you you have even if you miss you can like can light and Another approach, I mean, I don't know many approaches on spear, but like I usually approach with with either nair or in light. And if you want to do, like you can do grounded version as well, and you can protect yourself with d light as well. And if you want to dodge, it's it's faster than other weapons. So so yeah, that's that's gonna be spear probably. Like nair is the best move. I already talked about this in some of the previous videos, but like. Um, on blasters, you just do dash side light, and it's not punishable. If your opponent tries to punish, like in front of you, you just do end light, and he can't punish. And if not, you can just reset to neutral, and that's gonna be the best approach, definitely the best approach of blasters. And if your opponent is playing a lot in the air like this, and they just go like this, I don't know, not recovery, but like they go like this, and then do again, keep doing this, like dash jump P with Nair, and they're not gonna be able to punish it. So that's like anti-air option. All right, so this one is tricky because um, they changed X their acceleration in some of the previous patches. So now when you do when you do D-Light um, dash jump there, it allows you like to continue your momentum or stop it. So that's pretty good. And that's why it's one of the best approaches on X. Either that, like even if your opponent is in front of you and you don't want to like hit him or you want to confuse him, you can just cancel your momentum or keep moving. So yeah, that's pretty good approach. And also if they're like above you or like here, like stacked on you, you just do keep doing jump there. And if they're like in the air, then spam Nair because Nair, look at that hitbox bro. They're not going to be able to escape that. There's no way. Moving on to the side, I already talked about this as well. So basically, the best approach is delight and then light if you want protection. Even it works on, like, if someone's behind you, it could be a bait as well. And generally, every move, you do anything, you do light after. Because, look, if you try to dodge, look how much time that needed. So you're basically gonna get punished if you do... If you do light, you can prevent the punish. But, like, if you try and spam dodge, it's gonna take forever. Also, um, dash jump there is not a bad option, but it's very punishable and I would not suggest doing this. But it's very unpredictable as well, so maybe do it once or twice in the game, you know? And I'm explaining more because I'm a side man. Yeah, sure, yes. Yes, that's a, that's the case. And one more thing for anti-air, you can do, like practice this. Um, Falling Nairs and Sairs are pretty good. And like, don't do much like a Nair like this, because you can get punished, but like, if you do it like this, you're not gonna be getting punished. Also with Sair, just keep doing this and I don't think you can be punished. Like, Sair and Nair is the best. Okay, so I don't know about Orb much, same with Hammer, but the one thing that I found out today is if you do this, and you can do immediately do Daylight, which is crazy. And I don't think you can get punished because these are very many active frames and D-Light is just perfect protection. It hits grounded and on on in air, so that's that's pretty good. And uh, falling nairs are pretty good as well. Like it hits grounded as well, so 
like dash side light and dash D light are perfect op approach options. And like this as well, it works. So yeah, s s end light is just insanely good. And forwarding nares are very good as well. Also very good for like if your opponent is in the air. So that's pretty good. Have that in mind. All right, Karen, it's just basic. So dash side light, it's very unpunishable. I mean, if your opponent expects it, same with every other weapon, it's gonna be punishable, but like, it's very unpunishable, especially, like, these are not punishable, like, in terms of, if you want to dodge after it, it's, you can get, like, punished, but like, your opponent needs to expect these, I mean, there's no other approach options on this weapon, and for Nair, for Air, you have Nair, which is, like, one of the best anti-air, like, stuff. Look at this hitbox, it's crazy. And you're never gonna get punished for that. Okay, so for Katars, you kinda wanna stay close to your opponent because you're playing like the fastest weapon in the game and like doesn't have a lot of range, only with dash sidelight. So you kinda wanna stay here and you wanna keep nearing. That's what Katars do, but careful just to not do a grounded nair because it's gonna recover time is quite big and you can get punished if you miss so careful with that and i think like i don't play katars much but like i think the best approach is end light because even if you miss end light hits above and in front it's not a big hitbox but like in terms of how long it is but like it hits above and in front and if you miss you can do d light and you can do side light immediately because it katars are just fast and one thing also that I wanted to give you a tip, like everyone know that Qatar's players just do dash side light. So you can bait it sometimes like this. Um, if they are playing without the sound, they can get baited easily. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna totally make a whole new video about baiting. So stay tuned for that. All right, for gauntlets, there is, um, I'm gonna say this first. So in air, you don't have really much to do if you like want to stay on ground and punish your opponent when landing you have nothing much to do like you can spam nair but hitbox is not that huge and i do not suggest doing this i would rather suggest like catching the landing that's the first thing i'm gonna say about this weapon and some very situational approaches so i basically like to do this reverse reverse there like this um it's baity and you can highlight after it so you have kind of protection and when you like want to go a bit riskier, I like to do this, but only when you're gonna end up in offstage. So dash jump either in falling sir or just normal sir. Only when you're gonna go to the offstage because enemy won't punish you or will not be able. And dash jump into falling near is sometimes good and sometimes it's not, but it's usually good because you know, you, ha you have momentum when doing a sir. And even if you miss, like, like let me let me miss. So even if you, even if you miss Nair, you're gonna have momentum and you're gonna continue walking. And I mean, I said every every, every move, I said every move, but like, even end light is good sometimes. So like when you're stacked, if you do end light, it's pretty good. You're not gonna be, not getting punished every time, but like, you're gonna be getting punished sometimes. But like, it's still good. All right, um, great sword is kind of crazy weapon. Because any move you do, you have like immediately dodge. And why they made greatsword like this is, as I said in previous weapons, you can only always like wake up. Like you do side light, you can wake up with the light or something like that. Like every weapon has it. Only greatsword. Like if you miss this, you can do this. But like it's not as fast as other weapons. And Hard DMJ made a whole guide with this but it's very hard and i'm not gonna be explaining it right now and yeah basically you have no much um wake up options so they made great sword like this you can immediately dodge so i i don't know why is this in the game but i'll take it i guess because i play great sword and like nair obviously this nair is crazy for anti-air and dash delight covers the whole map so yeah make sure to use that as approach option if you can't approach with sidelight dash sidelight or dash daylight is going to be helpful and don't don't forget like if you miss you have dodge and don't get baited because 
if you dodge and they expect it, they're gonna punish after you dodge. As you all probably know, I'm the worst hammer player in EU and that's why I asked my friend Lissandro to help me. And this is what he said, you're probably gonna see it on screen right now. And yeah, I have nothing to say about hammer, I never play it, but like dash jump into Nair seems good, like as anti-air option. And I don't know, like as he said, there's no much approach options because hammer is like the most neutral weapon in the game, right? And you can like try do do this, but like on camera you kind of want to wait for your opponent, like really wait. But he said you can do dash jump reverse there like this because opponents just get confused. And I guess you can immediately do end light like this, so you have kind of protection. And yeah, that's it. Okay, Lance is crazy weapon as we all know. And the best approach is like on this weapon you can't get it really punished. Um, I suggest dash side light. Because you have end light as protection, so you do dash side, you miss, you do end light if someone's coming in your way. And same with dash delight, it's very not expected because I never see like play lens players do a lot of delights. So yeah, I would totally use this and this this nair. Are we gonna talk about this? No, I don't think so. Okay, boots. Um, this is a new weapon, and I've been doing some experiments on this weapon. And look sidelight, so you traveled almost the half of the map. Dash sidelight is literally on half of the map. So I, I was wondering, like, that can't be a good approach option. Like, dash delight on Greatster is way better. So I was doing a bit delayed dash sidelight. And it actually covers, like, a lot. It gives opponent a little bit more time to react. But it gives you a long stage control. And... You can definitely like use this as approach option. I'm pretty sure. So don't do, don't do uh, dash highlight like this automatically because look, it didn't land me. But if you do it like one split second after, you're gonna have like a lot more ground, you know, and you're gonna be able to hit probably. And of course, this is one of the best nairs in the game. Same with Katars and Lance, in my opinion. And yeah, this is the best air option. Like if your opponent is playing in the air. And yeah, guys, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like if this helped you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.